Robotics Competition Regionals at Hale Arena. High school students from all over the area convening to compete. Hi there and welcome to this Metro Sports Special Event. My name is Mick Schaefer. He is Paul Burkhart, First Regional Director. All right, what will we be seeing out there today, Paul? Well, Mick, we're going to see the top eight teams with their alliance partners competing for the right to go to the International Championship in St. Louis. Now, these are the best of 56 teams who've been with us the last couple of days, all fighting for this chance to be here this afternoon. All right, we'll talk about that more later, all the alliances, all the seeds. But what about these kids? How long have they been working on these robots? Well, they started back in January. They had six weeks to figure out how to build these robots, get them ready, ship them off to competition. Then they didn't see them again until they got here on Thursday, pulled them out of the box, and began working with them one more time. Should be a lot of fun. When we come back, we'll have the competition right here on Metro Sports. This is the first robotics competition regional only on Time Warner Cable. I know what sports fans want because I am one. We want action and we want it made easy. On April 12th, Time Warner Cable makes it easy with their all new sports category. Metro Sports stays on channel 30 but also moves to channel 310, smack dab in the middle of all the other great sports channels we offer. Just one touch it from ESPN to Fox Sports to Metro Sports and Metro Sports 2 to the Golf Channel and more. Put a one on the front and you're in HD. So find your sweet spot. The all new sports category and it's only from Time Warner Cable. We are back here at Hale Arena. Quarterfinals, semifinals, finals along the way, but a lot of competition already. And these, these seeds, Paul, it's a bracket, but it's more than just one team competing against another team. That's right, Mick. What happens is the top eight seeds of the 56 after preliminaries get to choose their alliance partners. That's what you're seeing right now. This was filmed earlier today. And once they have those alliance partners, they'll spend lunchtime strategizing over how they'll approach the final rounds this afternoon. Well, take us through these events here. How does it start out? What's in the competition? What will we be seeing inside these events? Well, what you're seeing right now, Mick, is the autonomous portion of a match. This is the first 15 seconds of a match when each of the robots are pre-programmed. They're on their own right. to place those Uber tubes, the yellow ones that you saw. And then, after 15 seconds, the drivers take control, as you see here. Human players throw additional pieces out into the game area for the robots to pick up and place. Their whole job as robots is to place them on the end rack to score points. The mini bots are then deployed in the last 15 seconds of the game and they score the most points. 30 points were scored by that last mini bot we saw because they were the first one up the pole. So, so many ways to score points in this competition. Let's take a look at the bracket here today. You see right there the eight seeds, but there's three teams within each seed. Explain that a little more if you could, Paul. Well, there's an alliance of three. That's how we play all of our games. And so in each seed, say seed number one, you see the three teams. They're going to play the eighth place alliance. And we're going to start with that eighth place alliance taking on the first place alliance. It's going to be Raider Revolution Robotics out of Overland Park, Shiner Mission South High School. The Swart Dogs out of Cedar Falls, Iowa. And then Team Driven out of Lee Summit taking on the eight seated teams, Metal Mustang Robotics, KARS out of Kearney, and then the Rockbots. Paul, the first 15 seconds of this competition, it's called the Autonomous Period. What's happening? That's correct, Mick. The Autonomous Period was where the robots were pre-programmed by the teams to basically drive on their own, find that rack, and place the Uber tubes. Those are the round yellow tubes you see on the rack. Those are for bonus points to begin with. But if they can place other tubes on top, like you see this bot approaching the rack at this point in time to do that, right over the top, that doubles the score that they just scored with that tube. And if they can create the first logo, the red triangle, the white circle, and, or the, and the blue square, they get to score uh, double points because of the Uber tube being placed there before. You see the blue tube going on right there from the rock bots. Another blue tube going on. Fans cheering. There's a lot of fans that come to these competitions. Yeah, uh, we've got about a thousand students huh, that represent the 56 teams, but they also bring their parents, they bring their family, their friends, and the general public comes as well as it's free. Team driven, you see there, 1730. They complete the logo. They've got the blue tube on there. And there's team driven, 1730, looking for the white tube. 
Yeah, the Red Alliance is scoring rapidly. You can see that they've already got three of the first logos completed. They're working on a third and a fourth. 1098, the Rock Bots score in the Red Tube, and now it's time for the Mini Bots. What will we see here in the last 15 seconds? Very quickly in the last 15 seconds of the match, you're going to see the Mini Bots deployed up against these posts. And they've only got 15 seconds to, on their own, climb the post, hit the top, and score those points. First one at the top scores 30 points, the second scores 20, the third 15, and the fourth 10 points. Can you come from behind? at this portion of the, uh, of the event. Oh, absolutely. If two or more of your robots can place these mini-bots, get them to the top of the pole, you can score enormous numbers of points in a very quick period of time. And like you mentioned, it looks like the Red Alliance will win this one, 115 to 60. So, the one seed, the one alliance, getting it done. Well, they won one, so they're going to have to win a second one to be able to advance to the semifinals.